Hey TikToks, it's Shifty and welcome back to the channel for a behind the scenes video of Naomi season 2. So hi guys, welcome back. I'm sure you all didn't think you'd see another behind the scenes video, but here we are. I am so excited to show you guys what I've been up to and what I've been working on. And this is just scratching the surface, y'all. I am working so hard for season two and I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to see the trailer that I have coming together. But we are here with Angela's mother and I am, I don't even know, this is just going to be such a chill video. There's not really going to be any like story to it. I'm just going to be explaining to you all what I've been doing. So I have done a ton of redecorating. So this is Angela's mom's half of the house. She lives in the bottom level and I could use the for rent feature here, but I just want it to feel so open and everything. And so I did not do that, but this is what her kitchen looks like. I feel like she definitely got herself an upgrade from her home that she was in. And she's even set up like this little dining table area here. And it just feels like in a little apartment almost over here. This is her living room area. And then to this side, she actually has a bathroom. And then when you come out of this way and hang to this door here, this is actually Angelo's studio. And this is where he is going to be taking pictures of Naomi, aka the photos that you guys saw for the little teaser thumbnail. And then coming back around this way is actually Isabella's bedroom. She's a really simple woman. She doesn't like a lot of things. She doesn't feel like she needs a lot in life. And so that's why her bedroom is just to the point, very sweet, very simple. And then over here is actually the garage, which inside the garage is parked. I want to say, let me look at the cars first. This is supposed to be a Alicia's car, the Honda, and then we have Naomi's Range Rover, and then we have Angela's car here in the garage, which I believe is a BMW, I want to say. And then upstairs, I am most proud of this area because I really wanted it to feel like Angela's home. And so we have this bar here with the wine glasses and just the, the availability of drinks that we have going on. We also have this collection of photos where I feel like Angelo has traveled. You guys know that he is part Dominican and he's also part Italian. And so I feel like he's maybe visited um, Tartosa a little bit. I feel like Tartosa was supposed to be like Italian and um, some other location inspired. Somebody leave the information down below because I'm actually not too sure. Um, but I just imagine that these are like photos that he's taken over the years. I've done a little bit of decorating here and so I've placed this big fireplace here. I think there was a window here originally, but I just really love this fireplace and I think that it's a, it kind of draws your attention to this area of the room. We have this beautiful dining table and because you guys know Naomi and Angela love to host, love to have people over and so I have this big table here for when they have parties and events and dinners and things like that. And then coming over here, we have Angelo's room, which you guys are probably wondering why Naomi is in this household. She's in this household because she is waiting for the contractors to finish up her home and she will be living in Copperdale as well very soon. But she's staying with Angelo for the time being because she just really wanted to get out of that apartment. And so they're kind of living together right now, which has been really fun to experiment with and just to kind of get a little idea of what life is going to be like for them. But this is Angela's room. We have his grand piano because you guys know he loves to play the piano. Um, we have the stressor and TV here. And then this is what his bed looks like. On his balcony, he does in fact have a hot tub, which he and Naomi do participate in <laughs> quite regularly. And then we also have his bathroom, which let me turn on all the lights because I don't know why I always do this when I do tours. I don't ever have the lights on. Wait a second. All lights? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? I went for a black bathroom for Angela just because I feel like he likes the darker tones and things like that. But for Naomi, I think I'm definitely going to go for like light, airy vibe kind of thing. But coming upstairs, you could say that this is Alicia's half of the house. Yes, she's spoiled ever so slightly, 
but um you know if she ever wants to have fam you know friends over or just hang out with her buddies or play video games angela wanted her to have a safe space and so it's not really closed off it's very open you know he could hear from down here if he really needed to and he has told her nobody is allowed beyond this door but she has a couch here with a coffee table, um, a gaming console and her TV, and a little bit of a bookshelf going on over here. Coming out of this way, we are actually greeted with Alicia's bathroom. I mean, if this was my bathroom, I would be so happy. It's so nice in here, and she really has like the biggest jacuzzi tub, and I'm so jealous. Which, by the way, Miss Alicia is actually supposed to be going to school right now, but it looks like her alarm clock did not go off. So I'm going to help her out a little bit so that way she can go when I resume the gameplay. But this is what her bedroom looks like. She's been decorating it ever so slightly. You know, she's getting comfortable living here. It's been a while, and I think that she's really starting to kind of grow into the idea that she that her father and Naomi are going to be getting married very soon it's just it's been a process <laughs> but she is adapting she's not giving Naomi the cold shoulder or anything I would say if anything it's just a little awkward at the moment just because of everything that happened but other than that she is she's doing good with her and then she has her easel over here and her computer where she just does her homework and stuff like that she has a stereo and then this is my favorite part but she's been like i said painting her room a lot and just doing a lot of art and her dad is completely open to the idea he's like express your creativity i really support it you know do you but she has been decorating the walls a ton and then coming out onto her balcony if you actually come this way she has like this outdoor movie thing which her dad does allow one friend to come back here which you guys will meet when the series starts but you know, her one friend is able to come over and hang out and watch movies with her back here, but that's about it. Angela was like, no, no one is allowed in the back room at all. Not, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm just going to resume and allow Alicia to go ahead and wake up. Everyone's sad right now. Because, let me tell you guys, Wallace decided to be a little butthole and run away from home. <laughs> and so he's currently missing, but I'm hoping that he will come home very, very soon. But yeah, we're really hoping that he'll come home soon because everybody in the household is missing him right now. But I know you guys are dying to see what these Sims look like in Creative Sims. So let's head on into cast so I could give you guys a tour of their new outfits. So I guess we should start with the start of the show. <laughs> Now, before we get into anything, I do want to give a disclaimer that I have recently changed my preset. I was using one before that um, kind of enhanced the lighting of my Sims. I'll actually show you guys right now. So I think it was Serene 2.0 that I was using. And this is kind of like the Naomi that you guys were used to seeing. So I had someone ask me if I changed anything about Naomi. I did not. I have simply just changed the preset. So now I am actually, I was originally using, I want to say Fern with 1.0, which makes things a little bit warmer. I do like this one, but then X Urban Sims, AKA Jen put out a new preset and I've been using this one because I do like when a preset is just ever so slightly changed from the natural game. And so this is Naomi without presets and then this is Naomi with presets. Another fun thing to mention is that I have recently changed her skin overlay. She was using a different one and now she's using this new one that I have. Unfortunately, I did not come into cast with the ability to go into full edit mode because I wasn't thinking, but I have added a ton of new wrinkles to Naomi's face. Naomi actually had no wrinkles last season and for this one, I have decided to add more and her hair color is actually supposed to be this color here. And so I, I had it changed because in the pictures that I recently did, let me go ahead and go to, I think it was her party. In the pictures I recently took of Naomi, she had this hairstyle here and this hair, I wanted to ask you guys, which I'm glad I'm doing this video because this is what her hair is going to look like when she gets it cut. It's a whole story, but um, this was the hair that she was going to have it cut to, but I decided to use this one for the pictures because it kind of looks like it has a little bit of gray in it, but it's not as much as this one. So I would love for you guys to take to the comments and let me know what you think. I just personally like the way this gray comes off. I don't really like it, but let me show you what her original hair looked like. So this is the hair she had before in the gray and that's why i like it because it's like a little subtle you know it's just here but it's not like wham in your face kind of like how 
this one is. Um, so that's why I decided to use this one because it's a little closer to the hair color that she had before. But let me know what you guys think. Do you all prefer this swatch, the lighter brown one, or do you like the brown gray swatch? Just, just let me know. But yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into the create a sim portion. So this is one of Naomi's first outfits. I kind of wanted to change her style a little bit. She's finally opened up her modeling agency. And so she has a few outfits that she wears to work, like the business casual thing. So this in my mind is a work outfit. Um, she also has this one, which she just kind of wears out and about and around. And then she has this one, which is another work outfit. And then she has this one, which is, uh, again, out and about kind of thing. The thing with Naomi's hair is I've allowed her hair to grow out just ever so slightly because I feel like in Naomi's mind, she's been very busy. She's happy. She's planning her engagement party or her, her wedding. She's orchestrating this modeling agency and posting events and just planning a bunch of stuff. And so she's just been a little occupied. She's kind of let her hair grow out and she was actually supposed to have her hair up in this little clip thing, but I guess it tried to default my hair to the, the little bob that she just had. But this is how she's supposed to be wearing her hair most of the time because she she's just clipping it up and putting it out of the way because she's like, I really need to get my hair cut. It's in my face, I can't stand it. She definitely loves her short hair and I love her short hair, but you know, I feel like life happens. I think she in any way is neglecting herself, but she is definitely just like the hair is the last thing on her mind right now coming into her formal attire we have this one um i also gave her another purple outfit just because her favorite color is purple and then we have this outfit here which is going to be for an event that's going to be happening in the trailer i can't wait I i'm so excited to show you guys what i have planned but this is the outfit that she's going to be wearing to the event um we also have her new athletic wear we have um, this version, this one, and also this one, which is just with the earbuds and without the earbuds. For Naomi's nighttime category, I kind of kept everything pretty much the same. I just kind of dressed it up a little bit, um, gave her a few new options like this little slip here. And then for party wear, we have these outfits here. She's so cute. I'm so excited for Naomi to come back to the channel. You guys have no idea. Um, this one is probably my favorite outfit by far. I think this is going to be her engagement party outfit because we haven't celebrated the engagement yet because Naomi has just been that busy. Going into her outfit category, honestly, this is the only outfit she has. The other ones were just the outfits I was using for the photos, but this is the only one that I've given her so far. And then for cold weather, we have this moment here with the thigh high boots and the oversized sweater. Um, we also have this one and we have this one without the jacket and then we have one without the hat. I do like to dress my sims like this for storytelling purposes, like maybe she and Angelo are walking out and around. Maybe she comes into a place where she can leave the hat on or maybe it's a situation where she's like, hey, I should take my hat off. You know, I like to I like to have that option. Mr. Angelo Newberry. I don't know if I like his name. His name was very much like a random name that I just rolled on and I don't think that it suits him. <laughs> And so I've definitely thought about changing it just because it, it's, it wasn't originally supposed to be his name. So I'll probably change this. <laughs> I'm just so used to calling him Angelo. I never really think about the last name, but if Naomi's going to have the last name, I need this to be a good last name. It actually means something versus something I randomly rolled onto because his mom's last name is Mendez and his father's last name is not Newberry. I want to say, I want to say his last name is something different. And so this doesn't even make sense. It really doesn't. So I need to change that. But um, for Angela's outfits, let's go to his everyday. I'm still working on his outfits. I don't think that he's ready by any means. He's a little older than Naomi. I think their age gap is like four to max six years. And so he's been trying to kind of tone down his style a little bit just to keep up with her because he doesn't want to look like quote unquote the old man. But even though he does not, he looks good for his age, um, but he just wants to look good next to her. And so he's just been dressing a little differently, a little bit more youth like. And I don't know if you guys peeped it, but I have them in matching athletic suits. <laughs> because I want them to work out together, go jogging together and things like that. And so they do have matching, matching track suits. You guys kind of saw the sleepwear. We have these outfits here for him. And obviously there are some that are a little bit more for storytelling purposes. And he's got his, his hairy chest, his hairy chest on out there. But yeah, he's, he's looking. 
He's looking good. For his party attire, we kind of repeat the same outfits. Nothing, nothing too crazy. We have one for like a, a more dressy party. And then we have one for maybe like just a house party or an event. And then we have another just house party outfit. Going into his swimwear, we have these two options. I don't know why my game keeps trying to put these boots on him. Last time I checked, he had cowboy boots on and I don't really understand. Um, going into the hot weather. These are his outfits. Again, I'm still coming through and changing some things because I don't really like the style that he has going now. I like it, but not for season two because he's already had these outfits. Going into the cold weather, he kind of has an outfit very similar to Naomi's with the pea coat. And, and then we have one without the coat and we have a casual one. And then we also have this one. Next on the list is little Alicia. Alicia is a senior in high school now and she is ready to graduate. She's ready to get out of here. But her style, I feel like, is very edgy. And she's a little older than some of the kids in her grade because she was held back. And so she, I wanted to make her look a little older in the face. And so I did bring in her cheeks a little bit. She more so had like a rounded face in the beginning, but I brought her cheeks in. You know, her face is becoming more defined because she's getting older. Um, but she is so ready to just be an adult and be out here. I feel like every every teen thinks that way until they actually become an adult and they're like, ugh, I hate this. <laughs> But um, she she has this style and I really like it for her. It's kind of grunge. It's kind of like a little edgy. And so I actually went to Pinterest because I had no idea what the kids were wearing. And I had to Google <laughs> what the kids are wearing. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm really not. But I had to Google um, what teenagers wear that are more so like on the grungier side. And these are what I found on Pinterest. And so these are all Pinterest inspired outfits and I'm actually happy that I went to Pinterest because she really does look like a teenager. Like, <laughs> it's so great. Um, she does have a formal dress. She's going to prom this year and I feel like Angelo is going to cry. Um, he really, truly might because she just looks so beautiful. Um, we have this athletic wear. We have her sleep wear. Her party wear. Um, we have a swimsuit option going on here. We have our hot weather. And then we have her cold weather attire, which is just a few variations of the same pants with just different tops. <laughs> but yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one of these outfits is your favorite. Do you all like outfit number two? Do you like outfit number three, four, or do you like outfit number five? Next on the list is Mrs. Isabella Mendez. This is Angela's mother. She's so sweet and so cute. I realized in the last season, I had her looking a little, a little too too elderly. I really did. Um, because if Angela and Naomi are in their 40s, their parents should only be like in their in their 70s, you know? So my grandma doesn't look the way that I had Isabella looking in the last season. <laughs> and so I decided to change up her look a little bit. One thing I do want to mention though is that I know I got a lot of comments when I kind of hinted at Angela's father. People were like, oh my gosh, he looks so good and Isabella looks so so much older and I I feel like Isabella is slightly older than William Angela's father and so I have given him more wrinkles since then but he is definitely a little younger than Isabella but I recently downloaded this hair and I had her with a shorter hairstyle but I think this one suits her so well so she's looking really cute. Um, she's got this long sweater with some jeans. She really does just like to stay cozy. She's realizing that Copperdale is a lot colder than where she was living before. And so you guys are going to see her in sweaters and jackets quite often. She has a formal dress that she wears to like weddings and things like that. We have her athletic wear category, which again is just one with earbuds and then one without earbuds. <laughs> We've got her sleepwear where she's just kind of running around the house and maybe cleaning her section of the house or coming up and trying to clean Angela's side of the house. We have her party attire, which is just this outfit here. Um, we have her swimwear. We have a hot weather dress. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite outfit out of hers because it just looks so tropical. And I really like, I'm sure these are like oranges, I want to say, but she just looks so, so fun and so vibrant. And then we have her cold weather outfit, which is just this one. And then I have one without the jacket and the hat. <laughs> so 
that's pretty much everyone's outfits and their updates. Naomi's trying to sneak in here and get some pizza, but I actually have her going out with Angelo to go meet someone. And so I'm going to have her come down here and gather her man. She's going to be like, hey, are you ready to go? You know, I told them that we would be at the restaurant. Let's just give him a hug really quickly. He's coming up here trying to sneak some pizza too, but um, we need to get them out the house because we have plans. And Naomi told her friend she'd meet her at the location very soon. And so we need to hurry up and get going. Angela's like, you look so good. Oh my gosh, no. Are y'all trying to woohoo? Where are they going? In the shower? He's like, okay, I'll get ready, but you gotta come with me. <laughs> I literally was telling my friend, I was like, I feel like Naomi and Angelo are very, um, <laughs> very active. <laughs> but look at mom. Mom's like, oh my gosh, let me, let me get these kids. <laughs> she can hear him woohoo and Naomi through the bathroom door. And she's like, in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> she's like let me let me uh let me clean up a little bit i love how she wants to get into a relationship and she also wants to mentor alicia's homework naomi and angela are still in the shower he wants to ask naomi about her day oh that's so sweet and he didn't use any protection oh my goodness well honestly grandma no don't go in there <laughs> but we're gonna be heading out soon but before we do i wanted to show you guys uh naomi's wants as well she wants to get married to angelo and she wants to be friendly with alicia so i love how these are all just like really flowing with the story right now so we're here at the restaurant with naomi and a few new faces so you guys know i've been working on getting some characters ready for season two but i've also been adding some new faces and so next to naomi we have monique stokes monique and her husband this is sean across from her and they are going to be some new characters coming into season two monique actually works with naomi in the modeling agency she is the one who handles more of like the management side of things and naomi is just the one who's handling like you know like the fashion side of stuff but monique has always been very into fashion and she's really loved it ever since she was a little girl i'm actually gonna have naomi um just kind of should we gossip with her no i think i'm just gonna do like some small talk and just ask her about her day and then i'm gonna have naomi um just kind of joke with her a little bit too like let's be funny and we'll tell her a funny story but monique in my mind is a little bit younger than naomi maybe by a few years monique and her husband actually have a daughter together and um it's really cute i can't wait for you guys to get to know them and see them more in season two you guys also will be seeing naomi's old best friend as well julia because i got a lot of comments people were like i want to see more of julia in season two and so you guys will be seeing more of julia um but i felt like i wanted naomi to have like a squad or something like that people she could go out with and like have drinks with and hang out occasionally and so i wanted to create monique they usually go out together you know angela actually gets along really well with sean he likes talking to him and you know they just it's a vibe it's a whole vibe <laughs> but sean is actually inspired by david beckham <laughs> So he is actually in the athletic career and he has since then retired due to an injury and so he's at home with their daughter and I just I'm, I'm so excited about this new couple coming into the mix because like I said they just they're a breath of fresh air because they're new and then two they're just such a good time oh our food got here oh my gosh look at everybody everybody's like I'm so excited Angela's been waiting for this meal he is probably just gonna wolf this down but I do notice that they didn't bring Angela his coffee what is everything okay um yeah we're we're missing the coffee but it's totally it's totally fine um he can share some of my lemonade <laughs> i told y'all i told y'all he was hungry he done wolf the whole thing down <laughs> he's like i'm gonna order i'm gonna order some more <laughs> actually is he full he is i'll leave him alone but yeah they usually get together talk about work and just talk about life and hang out and it's just such a fun time look at them oh my gosh so cute <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little surprise video today. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know how excited you are about season two. I know this video was kind of all over the place, but there really wasn't supposed to be like any form of organization to this. 
<laughs> it was just me hopping in and showing you guys what I've been working on, but I hope that you like seeing all the characters and their makeovers and just being able to see Naomi again. I being able to see Naomi again, it made me so happy and to be able to hop into her save and play with her. So I hope you guys are excited to see her as well. But yeah, leave your leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'm so, so looking forward to season two. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye, everyone.